Summertime is upon us. Time to grease up those cheeks and hit the beach, turning that leathery alligator skin into an SPF 9000 fortress. But what are you gonna do when it's 95 degrees with 100% humidity and the air is thicker than your grandma's gravy? Or like me, you spent the winter gorging on fruitcake and gingerbread and how your summer body's getting away from you faster than the expansion of the known universe. Well, it's time to crank up the AC, grab an ice cold lemonade and dive into some summer spirit with a movie marathon. So today, let's check out five summer horror films guaranteed to make your sweat glands go into overdrive. Now for this video, I'm not going to be talking about the major summer horror films you're probably thinking about. Um, things like Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the ultimate summer horror film in my opinion. That's too obvious. Things like Jaws, also extremely obvious. We're going to be taking a look at some that are a little more lesser seen, not necessarily underground or hidden gems, but maybe some that you don't watch every summer that maybe could switch things up for you this year. So first of all, I want to give two honorable mentions. The first honorable mention I want to give to is Taurus Trap. Taurus Trap is a great summer horror film. If you've never seen it, it's very reminiscent of Texas Chainsaw Massacre with some twists. Um, it's a great movie, a lot of fun. Uh, this is a full moon production. This was produced by Charles Band. So I highly recommend watching Taurus Trap, but that is not going to be on my top five this list and my second one is going to be uh, a cop-out which is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Now the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2 uh, arguably isn't quite a summer horror film but it still has that summer vibe. I believe it's still set in August. Um, I could be wrong but if you're not going to watch the original Texas Chainsaw Massacre I would recommend watching this one. Uh, maybe, like I said, switch it up a little bit this year. This is the Vinegar Syndrome release of this, which you can, I think you can still get on their website. This is the 4K. This um, has more special features than you would ever need in your entire life, or just as many as you would need, I guess. It, it, it is completely loaded. I'm not even gonna bother to read this off. I'd be here, the whole video would be on this. So that's just a, a special mention is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. So starting off with a bang, I wanted to highlight Sleepaway Camp. This is one of my favorite summer horror movies. It's just so much fun and it has such a great ending. If you know anything about this movie, you know the ending. Um, I'm not gonna spoil that for you if you've never seen this. I just will say it's probably not what you're expecting. This movie obviously involves a summer camp and it revolves around a girl named Angela who is sent to live with her aunt and cousin after a tragedy in her youth. And this highlights her experience at summer camp one year where she's bullied um, as being a shy teenager, probably due to the trauma of her youth involving her father's death and a beating boat. I'll leave it at that. Uh, so while she's at, at camp, strange goings on begin to happen, gruesome murders occur, and um, mysterious deaths. And it's 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 a very interesting film where it takes uh, the plot. Yeah, I don't think you really expect it, but the summer vibes are very heavy in this movie. And the beginning of the film is even set in autumn, so you kind of get a contrast between you know the cool autumn and the and the summer when the camp's actually lively and um, you got the kids there and everything. So. I love this movie. This is the Scream Factory release. Um, you can pick this up for pretty cheap, I think, still. Um, definitely recommend it if you can't find it there. You can find it on streaming. I'll put streaming sites you can find these movies in up in the corner um, as of this video. The next movie on our list is Blood, Guts, and Sunshine. The History of Horror Made in Florida. This is a great little documentary. This was a TerraVision release, 006. I think this is out of print now. You may still be able to get it um, somewhere. Uh, again, I'll put that up if you can find it on streaming. I kind of debated putting this on the list because of how hard it might be to watch um, or to get your hands on. But this is a great documentary about horror films shot in Florida. So this is a movie. Mm -hmm. 
this is where people like Herschel Gordon Lewis came up, uh, John Waters, John Landis, Tim Ritter, um, people people like that who kind of started making these underground, really sometimes very scuzzy, especially Herschel Gordon Lewis, the godfather of gore, you know, with his movie um, Blood Feast and 2000 Maniacs and uh, Wizard of Gore, you know, and of course uh, John Waters, Pink Flamingos, like you get this really Florida man <laughs> as as uh, cliche as that is to say, you know, you really get these like grimy Florida vibes and um, from these movies and that's kind of captured in the documentary, um, the way they talk about filming these movies and, and a lot of the DIY um, uh, heart that they had um, and ambition to, to do, you know, to come up in, in, this, uh, in this crazy time um, in the early 80s and, and 70s and stuff like that. So although this movie is only two hours, there is a lot in here. I feel like it could could have even been longer, to be honest, or they could have done two parts. But um, it's a it's really it's a really interesting watch. So that is blood, guts, and sunshine. And next, it wouldn't be summer for me if I did not watch Lucio Falci's Zombie. This is my favorite zombie movie of all time. Um, absolutely love it. You can see I'm wearing the shirt right now. Uh, it, I watch this movie every summer. Um, what can I say about Zombie, AKA Zombie 2, that hasn't already been said? I mean, really, this was a Blue Underground release. This is the 4K um, of this with the special features and the movie also on Blu-ray. Um, it's so much fun it, and it's horrifying. You know, it's, it's a fun movie, but it's also horrifying. The, the confinement of the island that they're on really adds to the to the atmosphere, even though it's set on like this tropical island, which would normally be something, some place of paradise, right? It's, it, it gets so visceral so quick. And everybody knows that one scene that this movie's, well, the two scenes really that this movie is famous for, um, the underwater shark fight and the um, eye trauma, which Fulci was known for. Um, it, it's iconic and I, I really, you know, I go back and forth sometime with this Day of the Dead and Dawn of the Dead and even Night of the Living Dead, but there's something just so, there's just something so like, there's just something so nightmarish about this movie. It, it really feels like you're trapped in a nightmare. So I highly, highly recommend Zombie, especially if you've never seen it. Um, the summertime is the best time to f watch this for the first time. You really get, um, you really get into the mood, especially on like a humid day or something like that. The more uncomfortable you are, the better. <laughs> oh, it's when it's so hot. It's the heat. So that is zombie. And second to last, we have Slaughter Day. Slaughter Day is a shot on video horror film uh, written and directed by two friends, or probably there were a lot of their friends were involved in the movie, but I believe it was just two friends that actually wrote and directed it. And it is just so much fun. Um, it's it's kind of a ripoff, not a ripoff, it's kind of a spin on Evil Dead. Like if Evil Dead went to Hawaii and was shot by, you know, two 90s skateboarder kids who just had big buckets of fake blood. Um, it really speaks to like, I, I could see myself making this when I, if I was like a teenager and had, you know, a, a bunch of, got a bunch of friends together on like summer break or something. Um, now that's not to say that it's bad because that sounds like they don't know what they're doing and they don't, but they make, they make it work somehow. You can see them start to lose steam kind of by the end of the movie, but it's only 60 minutes, uh, 58 minutes to be exact. So it moves really quick and it's so much fun. The pacing is great. What they were able to accomplish on basically like no money as a budget, I don't think, I, don't, I have no idea how much this costs, but I can't imagine it costs more than like a few bucks to make, honestly. Um, it, it's just such a fun movie. It's, it's just reminds me of like running around with my friends during the summer and having fun. And the gore effects are great, you know, and, and what they were able to accomplish, like I said, with, you know, no money and just pure imagination. Um, I highly recommend you check out Slaughter Day. This is the Visual Vengeance release. Um, 
so you can still get this for sure. I'm not sure if this is streaming. Again, I'll put that up uh, if it is. Now this release is kind of cool. I'm not gonna talk about all the releases too much, but I do like to show off some of the Visual Vengeance stuff because they always pack uh, a lot into these releases for what you get, you know, for they really treat these like shot on video films with a lot of respect. We have a poster, we have a booklet, and we actually have some reversible art, which I really like. I love that hand-drawn kind of stuff. And last, but absolutely not least, we have my favorite summer horror film, um, and that is The Lost Boys. Uh, if you have never seen The Lost Boys, just do yourself a favor and go buy it right now, or find it on streaming. This is such a fun movie. You have Corey Feldman, Corey Haim, Jason Patrick, Keith or Sutherland, I mean, it's it's such a fun movie. This is the epitome of 80s synthwave zom uh, zombie, 80s synthwave vampire boardwalk. I mean, it, it it encompasses so much of the summer, um, and it's such a it's such a feel good movie while at the same time being deeply unsettling. <laughs> it's it's so good, guys. It, I mean, it's. It's almost a perfect movie. Um, it, it's such, it's so much fun. And the 4K looks amazing, by the way. Um, definitely recommend picking up the 4K if you are gonna buy this. Uh, I don't think this is too expensive anymore. Bunch of special features, additional scenes, retrospective documentary. I would love to see this get a boutique release in the States. I don't think there's one in the UK either, but regardless, I would love to see this get a gets you know, a, a lot of love put into a boutique release. Um, but yeah, this basically, this movie concerns uh, this family who moves to Santa Carla, California. They run into basically a gang of vampires who run the boardwalk down at the beach. Uh, and it kind of revolves around his the older brother getting tied up in this world and how that affects his relationship with the girl that he meets there, his brother, his, the whole family, and um, kind of uncovering the mystery of this town. Such great atmosphere in this. Uh, I highly recommend The Lost Boys if that isn't clear enough by now. Please go check this movie out. You will not regret it. Um, and that is my favorite summer horror movie. And of course, how can you not love the sax man? One of the greatest sax performances of all time. Look at that greasy man go. So yeah, guys, there you have it. Those are my five uh, recommendations for the summer of 2024 horror movies. Um, I really wanted to get a broad spectrum. <laughs> it's a sunscreen joke. So you get a summer camp movie. Can't, can't not have one of those. You got a documentary. You have a isolating, horrifying nightmare movie. You have a shot on video fun just let's shoot stuff and see what happens time you have a fun uh summer synth wavy vampire movie really tried to cover the whole gamut here so pick one that you think you'll like and i don't think you'll be disappointed in any of them um just gear it towards your tastes so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching just real quick um be sure to follow me on instagram i post there very regularly okay that's at dream emulator hvsc and that'll be in the description also um, i'm trying new stuff with my setup here with my lighting and everything it's going to take a little bit of work to get it right so kind of bear with me please i do have a lot more stuff coming it's just been slow going lately because i've been busy with other stuff so keep an eye out i got a lot coming soon it's just going to be a little bit till i get everything squared away and um, I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. This was a disgrace. A massive thank you to my Patreon supporters. If you would like to support this channel, you can find those links in the description. Bye bye.